without saying that if Jim probably didn't get sick that you might have ended up divorcing anyway. <laughs> Do you think? I feel bad now. Do you know, he's not here and I said that. <laughs> he probably said he probably knew it too though. You know, I think we did talk about that a lot in his illness and I reckon and we did come to this agreement that we thought we probably would have been a bit like War of the Roses in terms of splitting up and then doing the full circle and getting yeah. back together and and I think we would have ultimately made it through and ended up together, but it would have been quite a journey to yeah. get there. Like, yeah. but we, we seriously would have almost killed each other getting there. Yeah, yeah. And that was just simply a, a, a fight for both of us wanting to do our own things. Yeah. And how much am I going to give and how much will you give and when are we finally going to meet here in the middle? And uh, I think we would have got there. Yeah. And, you know, what's sort of sad about it is the learnings, especially all for both of us, but also for Jim in about what was important to him towards the end. Mm. And he had only a limited opportunity to to live that out, I guess. But at least we got there. Yeah. So I think that's fantastic. Did you Do you think that him getting sick just made you let strip all of that bullshit and just love each other? Yeah, I mean, it was still hard, um, but it really, it really did make us, it didn't so much just strip it away, but it made us force each other to look at each other and look at ourselves and and work through all those issues. And in the end, we were like, you know, we yeah. were tight. And it was lovely, it was, it was, it really was the most, like one of the most beautiful experiences of my life to yeah. that point, you know, it was like, wow. And that's what was so sad. It's like, now he's gonna go. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you got there and now you're leaving. Yeah, I remember yeah. at one point it was just, it was right towards the end and I just, I just felt this sense of now I found it and I'm like, he's going to die. And so my mum just happened to phone at that moment. And I'm like, <gasps> hysterical down the phone. I'm going to have this hole in my heart for the rest of my life. He's going to leave me. And uh, is it worse now that I've experienced that and I may yeah. never have it again? And, you know, and I'm came trotting down and <laughs> you're yeah. strong. We'll get through it. You will, you know, but um, yeah. So, you know, that's, yeah, and I mean, poor Jim. I mean, really, he, he used to say to me, God, you know, do you know how hard it is being married to you? <laughs> like with all your hoo-ha about everything. But um, he needed it, I reckon. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. he would have been the most egocentric, bloody, selfish Yeah, you kept around. him in line. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but that's okay. So many people do lose you know, somebody very close to them. Most of us at some point in our life will. Mm. How do you, and you went through it, I guess, a lot younger and very extreme than a lot of people will but how, what would your advice be for people that are going through this well yeah gee that's that's really tough it's um what help, what has helped you the most get through this time well i think letting people in for mm. me yeah, like I, st I still have quite a lot of mates say, so, you know, you, you're quite standoffish and cold and you don't let people in. But that process, I, I had to let people in. I couldn't yeah. do it, couldn't get through it without it. And that was quite difficult for me, but um, I did let people in. That's really important. But at the same token, you sort of, you don't want to let people in and then sort of have that feeling that they're sort of starting to step over the line where you're not comfortable for them to be making decisions for you, about mm. you, advising you. So you sort of got to get that line right. But, uh, but people that you trust and love, you just, yeah, you've got to let them in. That's yeah. tough. That was tough for me. And I think advice for other people going through it. Therapy it, would be a big thing too. I reckon so many people deny seeking help. Yeah, look, I, I had, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. I did. I, had, I saw a psychologist for a while in there. That was very helpful. But mm. for me, after the fact was when I really needed that help. And, and as a family unit, Tin and Matisse and yeah. I all really need, and we, we all still see an educational psychologist. What is so, an educational psychologist? Uh, well, because Tin uh, has a language disorder, so, but that wasn't identified until after Jim's death. So it was oh. also confusing. Is it because of social, emotional reasons? Is there, you know... Is he autistic? Is he, you know, all sorts of different questions were thrown at us. So 
Uh, in the end, we, we referred to this fantastic Ed psych and you know she spent a lot of time doing lots of different tests with TNM. But basically, an Ed psych is uh, well, it's like psychology, except it's also around uh, learning for your children and learning for you as an adult. Oh, and wow. yeah, I quickly realised I was there for Tienan. However, I quickly realised, not actually not that quick because she was pretty clever, that <laughs> she was sort of started saying, oh, I won't need to see Tienan this week, you know, if you just come and see me and we'll talk about Tienan. I'm like, yeah, okay, because I think she must have sensed. I was like, well, we're not here for me, clearly. Yeah, yeah, um, right. But she reeled me in that way. And then the next thing, I'm parking projects. And I'm like, hang on a second. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so very, very clever. I have so much respect for this woman. Like, she's just... You know, she's so much. Yeah. yeah, so talented and just so good at what she does. In a, you know, in positive change for us, amazing. Yeah, right. Changed our, changed our lives. Really? Yeah, the three of us. Yeah.